Hey everybody, it's Kay. Hope that you're doing well. So today is my TBR video for March Mystery Madness. Now, in all transparency, I have changed my TBR several times. This is my third time recording this video. And I said, you know what? I'm not going back to the library and changing out any more books. It is what it is. Now, what I was trying to do was gather enough books to have some diversity in the types of books that I chose to read for March. I wanted police procedural, psychological thriller, legal thriller, and everything else in between. So I hope that I have a good mix of books that will satisfy what I'm looking for for this month. There are four books that I've already finished for March that I don't have to show you here today, but I'm going to mention for you, I plan to post my reviews for those books throughout the month of March. Those books are A Noise Downstairs by Linwood Barclay, The Kept Woman by Karen Slaughter, The Third Victim by Philip Margolin, and A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. So let me show you the books that I have with me today. The first one is a psychological thriller, My Sister the Serial Killer by Oyinkan Breathwaite. Now I've seen this book all over social media and I purposely avoided the reviews because I didn't want any spoilers. And I just finished this book and I really did enjoy it. My review to come later on in the month. It is about a young girl, a young woman named Coraday who has a sister, Ayula. Now, Coraday works in the hospital as a nurse. Ayula is her younger sister, very beautiful, very charming. Men lose it when they see her. The problem with Ayula is she's a serial killer. And so Coraday is used to cleaning up her sister's messes. But um, she has a very big issue with her sister when a very handsome doctor at the hospital where she works, whom Corday happens to have a crush on, falls hard for Ayula. And Corday has to decide how far will she go to protect her sister and those that she may care about from her sister. So that's what the book is about. It's a very quick read, as you can see here, very short book. And I'll give you more information, my thoughts on the book later on in the month. Next, we have An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lapina. This book is about a, people, a group of people gathered at an inn in the Catskills. You know, roaring fireplace, fully stocked wine cellar, um, skiing available, that whole thing. And the guests are there enjoying themselves. And then a blizzard comes along and they are stranded at the inn. And they try to make the best of it, but one person ends up dead. And they think it's an accident, but when the second person ends up dead, they know that something sinister may be going on. The only thing that they can do is bunker down and survive the storm and each other. So this one I really hope I can get to. It sounds pretty good. Now, Peter Likes Books reads a lot of thrillers and suspenseful novels, and he raved about this particular book on his channel. So I said, well... I've got to go get that book. And it is No Exit by Taylor Adams. This book is another thriller um, that is based in cold weather in a blizzard. So there's a young college student traveling home. The roads become impassable. And so she stops at a, at a rest stop. And there are four other people there. There's nothing else there but vending machines and a coffee machine. And so they're stranded there. She goes outside to try to make a phone call and she notices in a van parked near her car, a young girl in a crate. And she's stranded with these people. And she, do she doesn't know which one of the four of them owns that van and whether or not they are a kidnapper. So that does sound really good. So I, I, hope, I hope it is. This book I got strictly because I love the cover, and it is The Disappearing by Lori Roy. 
In this story, there's a young woman who is from Florida. She flees from Florida, goes to New York, swears she's never going to go back to Florida. But 20 years later, she's divorced and has two kids in tow. She returns back to Florida and moves in with her parents on the historic Fielding Plantation. Here, the past haunts her and the sinister crimes of her father, the former director of an infamous boys' school. And um, she's she feels unwelcome in the town and ostracized by the people there. Um, her, her older daughter suddenly vanishes one day. Ten days earlier, a college student has vanished. And so... People believe that a former uh, serial killer that was in the area before has returned. But when her younger daughter admits that she's made a new unseemly friend, a des desperate Lane, that's the character's name, attacks her hometown's facade to discover whether her daughter's disappearance is payback for her crimes or her father's crimes. Reporters descend upon the town. The police are coming through the swamp. Events are taking, lead, dis are taking disturbing turns. She fears that she faces too many enemies in too little time to bring her daughter safely home. Sometimes home is the most dangerous place of all. And that sounds really good. The Disappearing Lori Roy. Next is Bring Me Back by B.A. Paris. And I did read... Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris, and I thought the book was okay, so I thought I'd give this one a try. Bring Me Back. In this book, there's a young man named Finn. He is in love with Layla. They're on vacation. They stop at a service station. He goes to the restroom. He comes back out. Layla is gone, and she vanishes without a trace. Ten years later, Finn's engaged to Layla's sister, Ellen. And their shared grief over Layla has brought them together. But not long after he and Ellen are married, Finn gets a phone call. Someone from his past has seen Layla. Hiding in plain sight, there are other odd occurrences. Long lost items from Layla's past that keep turning up around Finn and Ellen's house. Emails from strangers who seem to know too much. Secret messages, clues, warnings. If Layla is alive, what does she want? How much does she know? This is Bring Me Back, B.A. Paris. I have um, an audiobook here, Feared by Lisa Scottolini. This is a legal thriller. This is part of her um, Denuncio and Rosado series, but her books are standalone. You don't have to follow them in order. And this one, um, Rosado and Denuncio's law firm is facing a Lawsuit of reverse discrimination, claiming that they um, refuse to hire men and make them partners. Not only that, but there's a murder that needs to be solved. They have to win this case to save their necks, basically. And Mary, one of the partners in the firm, is having a baby. So they're dealing with a lot of trauma and drama at the same time. So again, that is feared. Lisa Scottolini. And finally, a book that I started last year, but um, last year during, during this time I had a very difficult time with, you know, my mom being ill. And so I really didn't get to participate in March Mystery Madness last year at all. But I checked this book out from the library. I couldn't wait to read it. Ended up having to take it back. And so I've got it again. And I'm excited about reading it. It is Bluebird Bluebird by Attica Locke. Now, Freeform Lady had mentioned that she might do a read-along of this book. And I hope so. So, Freeform Lady, if you see this video, I'm in. I would love to do a read-along with you on this book. So, that is my tentative list. If I change it again later on, I'll let you all know. But I'm hoping I can stick to this one, okay? Let me know if you're going to participate in March Mystery Madness, if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. Don't forget to hashtag all of your postings, March Mystery Madness, on social media so that we can find you and follow you next month. 
Hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, everybody, keep reading. Bye-bye.